At 12 o'clock, number 23, Kansas State, who's 6-2, traveling number 7, Texas, who's 7-1. Texas favored by 3.5 points on Fox. Will Howard for the Wildcats has gone 137-215, going for 1,628 yards, 14 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. DJ Giddens has had 116 carries for 722 yards and 7 touchdowns, and Phillip Brooks has had 39 catches for 437 yards and 3 touchdowns. Quinn Ewers for the Longhorns has gone 151 to 213, thrown for 1,915 yards, 13 touchdowns, three interceptions. But Texas is going to have to learn what like it, life is without Quinn Ewers for the next couple of games. And you have to hope Ewers is going to eventually be back. And you just got to survive till then if you're a Longhorns fan. Jonathan Brooks has been dominant on the ground, 144 carries for 923 yards and seven touchdowns. And Xavier Worthy's had 44 catches for 572 yards and four touchdowns. Texas is 13 and 10 against Kansas State all time. The last six games have gone to Texas from 2017 to 2022. Six of the last seven games, though, have been one possession football games. These teams play close, tight games. Uh, last time Kansas State went on the road and beat Texas, by the way, was 2011. I think this game has a possibility of being very, very interesting. Because, again, the Big 12 is the only conference that of the power five conferences that can be, com be they can be the first p big power five conference to be completely knocked out of playoff eligible football teams this week right because everyone else at least has one undefeated still kicking and even if they somehow drop their game they're still a one loss football team there are two there are two teams that are playoff eligible are texas and oklahoma and they're both playing tough opponents kansas state and oklahoma state are both tough we're going to get to oklahoma state a little bit later by the way a lot of people are going to look at the records and be like, Texas is 7-1, and one, Kansas State is 6-2. and two. Um, and Kansas State 6-2 is still a very solid record. It's just, if you're a Kansas State fan, you probably expect a little bit more at this point in the season. But one of those losses came out of conference to a really good Missouri team. Um, and you're just looking at it, and again, Kansas State is tied for first place atop the Big 12 with four other teams. A lot of people are going to look at Texas and Oklahoma and assume they have just they're automatically going to be in the conference championship. That's not quite true. They're tied with three other teams in Kansas State, Oklahoma State, and Iowa State. Kansas State and Oklahoma State, if they win today, they have an inside track to reaching that conference championship. So these are big games for the Cowboys and the Wildcats. This is a big game for the Wildcats. Um, they've been a little bit inconsistent quarterback-wise, but I'm going to be honest, so is Texas. This game could be extremely interesting with no Quinn Ewers. And assuming Murphy's going to just step into that role, he did well against the BYU team that I actually have a decent amount of respect for, but it is BYU's first year in conference Power 5 football. Um, this is a Kansas State team that is giving Texas trouble over the past couple of years. This is a really good Wildcats team. I'm going to be sad to miss this rivalry when it goes, but I'd like kind of like Kansas State to come on the road and pull off this upset. Give me the Wildcats on the road to pull it off.